Hello everyone, this is Sir Aris. Let us talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors and also um, uh, diagonalizing matrices. Suppose um, the XY plane um, is covered by an elastic membrane which can be stretched, shrunk, or rotated with the origin fixed, so suppose this is an XY coordinate system. And this is, uh, this is covered by some membrane. So this is our membrane. It can be stretched, shrunk, or rotated. So any point X, say let's call this X, XY, can be become some point capital letter x y after after this possible deformations the matrix m describes the deformation so if you have suppose um, there's a vector r that describes that uh, random point x and y so we use i hat and j hat um, in matrix notation we can use column uh, matrix also if you have uh, for the capital letter x and y we use capital letter vector r uh, so we have i hat and j hat again in matrix notation x, y in column. So if there are vectors r, the small letter r, such that uh, it's related to capital letter r by this lambda, where lambda is a constant, such vectors are called eigenvectors or characteristic vectors. Uh, lambda are called the eigenvalues or character characteristic values of the matrix M of the um, transformation. For the eigenvalues, to illustrate on finding them, uh, we consider the transformation so that you have x. Oops, um, y equals a matrix times small letter x, small letter y. And suppose the matrix is, for example, f uh, of 5 minus 2, minus 2, and 2. The eigenvector equation or condition is given by capital letter R equals lambda, the eigenvalue, uh, small letter R. So here, this would become xy equals 5 minus 2, minus 2, 2 xy equals lambda xy. So this whole thing, which is our capital letter xy, would be equal to constant lambda times xy, or this is just a constant, it can be distributed to lambda x, lambda y. In equation form, We have 5x minus 2y equals lambda x. So 5, so xy here, 5x minus 2y equals lambda x. And negative 2x plus 2y equals lambda y. Or um, you have 5 minus lambda, we transfer lambda on the other side x minus 2y equals 0 and here you have minus 2x plus 2 minus lambda y equals 0 and this is a homogeneous a set of homogeneous oops, equations and recall that oops, uh, 
a set of homogeneous equations has solutions other than x equals y equals zero only if the determinant of the coefficients is zero. So the coefficients are this, take the determinant, and that should be um, zero so uh, that we have um, solutions that are not trivial. Five minus lambda uh, minus two minus two, two minus lambda. Take the uh, determinant that should be zero. So this is our characteristic equation of matrix M. Basically, this is just matrix M. You add minus lambda on the diagonals and then take the determinant. This determinant is called the secular determinant. To obtain the characteristic equation of matrix M, we subtract lambda from the elements at the main diagonal and then set the determinant of the resulting matrix equal to zero. Um, now let us solve, solving for uh, lambda. So we simply operate or evaluate this determinant. So that's five minus lambda, two minus lambda, minus negative two, negative two, that's four equals zero. Or this becomes, um, 10 minus, so this is 2, um, 2 lambda minus 5 lambda plus lambda squared minus 4 equals 0. And that would be lambda squared minus this 2 is 7 lambda. This and this, that's plus 6 equals 0. You take, you, you, um, um, simplify this by writing it as a product of lambda minus 1 and lambda minus 6 equals 0. This gives us lambda equals 1 and lambda equals 6 as solutions of this equation. Um, this are our eigenvalues or characteristic uh, values. To get the eigenvectors, we simply substitute lambda. So we substitute lambda here. So we have two lambdas, let us rewrite that again. Um, you have 5x minus 2y equals lambda x and negative 2x plus 2y equals lambda y. Check. 2x plus 2y equals lambda y, 5x minus 2y, lambda x. Okay. For lambda equals 1, the eigenvalue lambda equals 1. We substitute this by 1. Okay, so we have 5x minus x, that's 4x minus 2y. 4x minus 2y divided by 2, that's 2x minus y equals 0. Now the, the other eigenvalue, we said, oh, you get the same if you multiply, the, if you substitute this by um, 1. So you have 2y minus 1y, that's 1y, so we have 2x minus y. Substitute this by 6. So 6x, you, you can subtract both sides by 5x, so you have 1x remaining here, plus 2y, so you have x plus 2y equals 0. So um, the eigenvectors, vectors that uh, whose components x, y satisfy these two equations. There are 
infinite number of them, but we can plot them in an xy uh, plane so that for lambda equals one, these are points on the xy plane that are along this line 2x minus y. So it's a line with um, slope 2 passing towards the origin. So suppose this is our line um, 2x minus y equals 0. So the eigenvector is that vector passing through this line. Okay. So you have here the, the, the eigenvalue equation is r equals lambda r, but lambda is 1. So small r. Okay. So after the operation, the points on uh, these points are unchanged. The r equals r. The other one here, this is a uh, line with slope negative one half, so it's perpendicular here. Okay, this is x plus two y, and along this points, if you have a random point, let's say a point here, um, let's call it some r. The transform after our operation. Uh, would be 6r because of the 6 here. And remember the eigenvalue condition r equals lambda r. For lambda equals 1, you have this. And these are points passing through here. For lambda equals 6, you have know, 6r. So if originally you have a point here, after the operation, it moves 6 times as far from the origin. Okay, so if you have, if you deform, if this is the membrane and you deform this, all points along this line will get stretched six times. Um, now let's, let's proceed with diagonalizing matrix. Let us rewrite and uh, let's see what this diagonalizing means. So we rewrite our um, equation 5x minus 2y negative 2x plus 2y equals lambda x lambda y so for lambda equals 1 um, we use subscript 1 for lambda equals uh, six use subscript two. Okay, so we replace all x y's with x with a subscript one or x x y with a subscript one, x y with a subscript two. So for example, if lambda is uh, one, then you have five x one minus two y one equals x one negative 2x1 plus 2y1 equals y1. So that's one equation for lambda equals 1. The other one is we set lambda to 6. So we have negative 2x, oh no, 5x2 minus 2y2 equals 6x2, negative 2x2 plus 2y2 equals 6y2, okay? And we can rewrite this. As one matrix equation. Basically, you have four equations. So it would be a matrix with four elements. For example, 5x1 minus 2y1. So if this is a big matrix, 
that would be equal to x1. This is equal to this. Um, negative 2x1 plus 2y1, that would be equal to y1 here. 5x2 minus 2y2, that's equal to 6x2. And this one, negative 2x2 plus 2y2, that would be 6 y2 and this could be also a matrix uh, operation equivalent to 5 let's say if you write the coefficients 5 um, negative 2 negative 2 and 2 uh, so here we can write x1 x2 y1 y2 so this here is just equivalent to this if you want to check um, you can do that to make sure that these two are really the same. Here, this can also be written as x1, y1, x2, y2 times 1, 0, 0, 6. Okay. Then the next step is um we want to find what values of x1 and x x1 y1 and x2 y2 we, we need remember that here there are infinite number of eigenvectors on this line there are infinite number of points here you have infinite number of points our uh, problem is to uh, determine which one to use so um, we, we want to find R1 equals X1i plus Y1j and R2 equals X2i plus Y2j so that um, R1 and R2 have unit length. So it's a vector, the, the eigenvectors are any uh, vectors from origin to points on this, to a point on these two lines. But let's choose one such that um, the length is unit or unity or one. The length is one. For example, here, the length, if the length is 1, it means that x1 squared plus y1 squared equals 1. And here, x2 squared plus y2 squared equals 1. And from here, if we use um, 2x1 minus y1 equals 0, and x2 plus 2y2 equals 0, if you want to know where this came from, that would be our equations here. But we replace x by x1, y by um, y1. And here we have x2, y2. Okay. So, for example, if you want to use this, y1 equals 2x. And then from this first equation, you have x1 squared plus 2x1 squared, that's 4x1 squared equals 1. This becomes 5x1 squared, so we have x1 equals 1 over square root of 5. Um, we go, go back here, y equals y1 equals 2 over square root of 5. Okay, so for this case, you have x2 equals negative 2 y2 so here x2 would be 4 y2 squared plus y2 squared this is 2 equals 1 this is 5 again y2 equals 1 over square root of 5 x2 would be negative from here it's negative 2 over square root of 5 so we found this 
which then gives us so we have x1, y1, x2, y2, it would be x1 is 1 over square root of 5, y2 is 2 over square root of 5, x2 is negative 2 over square root of 5, and here you have 1 over square root of 5. So that finally, you have this matrix formula here. We can write that as 5 minus 2 minus 2, 2, 1 over square root of 5, negative 2 square root of 5, 2 over square root of 5, 1 over square root of 5 equals, we write that again. One zero zero six. Let's label this. This is our matrix M. This let's call it C. This one is also C, and this is D. Okay. Now take note. Um, so here our formula would become M C equals C D. If we multiply both sides by C inverse, we have, we get C um, minus one M C, C minus one times C, that's one, so you have D. And D, which is this matrix, this is a diagonal matrix. So basically, if we know C, we do this, use this formula to get D, which is a diagonal matrix. So this is called diagonalizing, diagonalization of a matrix. So we start with matrix M, and we ended up with a version of M that is that only has diagonal matrices. So M is similar to D, D is similar to M. They are not equal, but they are similar. And to get D, we diagonalized M using a similarity transformation. Now let's consider what is the physical interpretation of C and D. Suppose X, Y, and X prime, Y prime are related by C. Basically we have R equals C, R prime, or r equals c r prime from the eigenvalue equation r equals m r let's substitute r by c r prime if m r we substitute by c r prime okay multiply both sides by c inverse you have r prime equals c inverse m c r prime and this is our matrix d so that d which is this is the matrix which describes x the x prime in the x prime y prime system the same effect as m what m does in x y system so m in the norm in the ordinary or the original x y system m has an effect in the transformed system, x prime, y prime, we use um, this uh, new form or a, a diagonal or, or this, this similar transformation where C relates prime and the unprimed um, coordinates. The matrix C which diagonalizes M is the rotation matrix C when the x prime, y prime axis are along the directions of the eigenvectors. So if you um, let us go back to our figure here. So if this x and y, x and y are rotated so that they align with the eigenvectors, then uh, that rotation is um, 
described by this matrix C. And the effect would be to diagonalize M so that um, the axis would be along the directions of the eigenvectors. There would be a case um, where two or more eigenvalues are the same. In that case, the eigenvalue is called degenerate. Degeneracy means that two or more independent eigenvectors correspond to the same eigenvalue. Um, now let's consider Hermitian matrices. The eigenvalues of a Hermitian matrix that is a matrix where H dagger equals H are always um, real. Let's try to, to prove that. So H um, R equals lambda R or H applied to R. Um, that would be our, our matrix equivalent to the rotation matrix, for example. And the effect would be equal to constant times the, the matrix R or the vector R. We take um, the transpose, conjugate, or that would be the dagger. So H R dagger is equal to H or R dagger, H dagger, but H dagger is equal to H. So it's R dagger H. For this right hand side, lambda R dagger, you have transpose conjugate, lambda is a constant, so that's lambda conjugate, okay, times R dagger. So if we, so we now have R dagger H equals lambda complex conjugate R dagger, we multiply both sides by um, R from the right. From the right means we multiply only on uh, from the right uh, to towards our equations. We have R dagger H R equals and the star R dagger R. Um, if R dagger and R are do not commute, the effect of R times R dagger would be different. So it'd be important to multiply R to specify where we multiply R, if it's from the right or from the left. So if we go, go back with our equation here, we multiply, so multiply HR equals lambda R from left with R dagger, so you have R dagger H R equals lambda R dagger R. So let's call this equation one, let's call this equation two, subtract two from one to get, so one minus two, so that's zero equals, um, the star minus lambda times r dagger r. Assuming that r is not equal to zero, then lambda star equals lambda. So in that case, if the complex conjugate is equal to the number, the number should be real. And that's what we need to prove that eigenvalues of the of our Hermitian matrix are always real. Other properties. The eigenvectors corresponding to two different eigenvalues are orthogonal. A matrix has real eigenvalues and can be diagonalized by a unitary symmetry. Um, on a unitary transformation if and only if it is uh, it is Hermitian. So unitary this is the unitary transformation. This is uh, similar to similar transformation, but we use a unitary matrix. Um, for a matrix has, um, has matrix has real eigenvalues and can be diagonalized by an orthogonal 
similarity transformation if and only if it is symmetric. Finally, let's consider the case where you have the possibility that we can use one um, or, or same similarity transformation to two or more matrices. Uh, this can be done only if or if and only if they commute. So to prove that, we consider matrices F and G that commute like this. In the case where we have the generate eigenvectors of f, in this case, all vectors in the, the generate subspace are eigenvectors of f, so we are free to choose ones which are eigenvectors also of g. So they have the same um, eigenvectors. And once you know the eigenvectors, you can write our, our matrix C is just, uh, it consists of, consists of um, columns, that are eigenvectors of um, the matrix. So if, you, if the eigenvectors are the same, then the similarity transformation would be the same. For the non-degenerate case, um, suppose R is the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda, so that FR equals lambda R. We multiply this by G. We have GFR equals lambda GR. GF is equal to FG. So we have F GR equals lambda GR. And this part here is an eigenvector of F. So GR is an eigenvector of F corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda. So GR would now be um, similar or it's a multiple generally of, um, of R. Okay, GR is a multiple of R. R is an eigenvector of F. GR is also an eigenvector of F, but up to some constant. So it means that GR is equal to R up to some constant, let's call it lambda prime. Okay, now R, this R is here, are eigenvectors of G with eigenvalue lambda uh, prime. So R are eigenvectors both of F and G. Okay. 